SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Action! Bitch, not the instrumental. My name is Shafi Bello Akiramisi and we're on the set of Bomokomo Express and I play the role of Alexis Osita Park, also known as Alexis Osita Park. Hey, my name is Blossom Chikucheku and I am on the set of Bomobomo Express. Yeah, and I play Rotsi. Hi, my name is Ikechuku Ononaku, and we are here on the set of Boma Boma Express, written and directed by Walter Taylor, and I play Nino. Funny enough, this film is part of a trilogy of stories I've been writing, I've been working with. Um, I have a TV series called Marriage to the Game, which they show on one of the channels at the moment, and the story of Marriage to the Game starts where Bomber Bomber was supposed to end. Um, and then Bomber, the idea was I'd, I'd do a series one, TV series, then do a feature film, a prequel of the, of the stuff, and then do the series two. Will be slightly surprising to people. Just by the nature of it, first and foremost, the title, Bomber Bomber Express. They may think it's a Yoruba film, which I've been told, you know, I've, I've had a lot of. Um, back and forth about why, why I'm calling the bomb, bomb I should call it something like dangerous kidnapping or something. I don't know what it is, but that kind of thing. But um, you'll get a lot of good acting, you get a lot of comedy, you get a lot some action, you get romance, um, you get great, great um, characters. And generally it's just like the story it's an, it's a ride. Bomb Bomb Express is a, it is, it is a ride. A story that has so much twist and intrigue to it, a bit of suspense, and Austin is playing this um, record, uh, record label um, um, CEO, and he, you know, he gets um, artists who sings and raps and does all of that on his label, and of course, uh, in an industry where, of course, there's, a, there, there, there's there are times when you have a nosedive and then the good side, and he was suffering both at some point in time in the story. And there are a couple of conflicts there with him and, and some of his artists. And well, he played a fast one. He tried to change his character because he had he had a bad uh, bad habit. He had a bad um, thing that he normally does, and he was trying to quit. At the same time, he wanted a better life than just being a CEO of a record label. You know, I'm an artist in the movie. My name is Nino. I'm the flagship artist of the record label Rolling Records, Double R, R Squared, and um, yeah. Alexis is a very wealthy woman. Now, she didn't come into wealth by just uh, being born into it. She's a corporate woman who took everything she felt she deserved. She got married and got lucky. Her first husband died, but you know, she knows how to milk it. So she got married to another wealthy billionaire, which made her a billionaire. So she's a very wealthy woman and her daughter has just been kidnapped. And of course, they need a ransom, but she's too tough a cookie. So she's not about to crack. That's as much as I can tell you. So I play Rotimi, um, he's a lawyer in this record label and uh He's a very, very, very ambitious, very, 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 very driven. Um, has some really silly plans up his sleeves. But somewhere along the line, <laughs> something happens. <laughs> and then there's missy, there's trouble. When you watch the film, you understand. But if you watch, once you watch Bomber Bomber Express and you see how it finishes, and if you watch Marriage to the Game, you'll be able to see how those two stories sort of into it but that's um, how the story of Bomber World came about but generally the story wise I'm very into sort of film noir, Humphrey Bogart, um, all these sort of dark detective crime stories and that's where this one came out of. It's always fun working with Walter because uh, 
He's very, very creative. He's always thinking outside the box and he allows you, even though he's a stickler, he will allow you to, you know, play around with your lines and your role and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's always fun. And then the crew, crew is always a jolly crew. Happy to go through a crew, so I'm always happy. We just went with a lot of nice sets. I mean, one of the sets was designed by one of my good friends, Ogambit, did the studio downstairs. We got the story. I think I'll go with the story because when I sent the scripts out to everyone, that was the first thing. They were like, yeah, regardless of talking about money and friends and everything like that, they were just like, yeah, I want to be in it. Like actors upon actors upon actors were saying, some was even saying, I wouldn't mention names, but they were just literally wanted to be part of it. And for me, that was quite important because that's what I really wanted. I wanted, them to, they, I wanted there to be a script that everybody wanted to be in. And I think we, I think we, got, we got that. So it should be a film that everyone wants to go and see. Hi, I'm Unos, and if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.